Hi everybody, I'm Barb Steinberg, teen life coach for girls, parent coach, and speaker on teen girl issues. I wanted to talk a little bit about empowering versus enabling. There are so many different ways that we enable and we empower our teenagers, but I wanted to specifically talk about overprotection. You know, I think in today's world, there's a lot of talk about safety and protecting. Uh, even when statistics tell us that we actually live in a safer world or a safer America. Um, so I wanted to talk about overprotecting because when it comes to enabling, there are times that our overprotection can hinder our teenagers from growing up um, to be capable, competent adults. So it might be, you know, little things like, you know, we tell our teens like, let me, I'm going to pick out your clothes because it's really cold out. Make sure that you have a coat or you hurry up and do what you need to do to get ready. I'll pick out your clothes. I'll get your coat. When as an adolescent, that really is a task that they need to be in charge of and are certainly capable. And, you know, it's, it only takes a few times to be really uncomfortably cold before you don't forget your coat again, right? Or even things like um, picking their friends for them and, and managing their friendships and kind of orchestrating who they hang out with because these two girls you think are better for your daughter. Um, you know, there's a lot to be said for what we learn from who we hang out with. And sometimes we need to hang out with somebody and experience something negative in a friendship for us to realize, wow, that's not really the kind of friend that I want to have. That's not who I want in my life. And that's really an invaluable lesson for our girls to have when they go off to college or go off to their adult life. So overprotection can definitely be, can hinder our girls. And maybe you're thinking right now of some ways that you could let go a little bit and trust that she will be safe and she'll be taken care of. Um, I'll give you an example from my own life. My, uh, I have a 13 year old son and um, now there's this craze of scooters everywhere, I guess probably around the country, but in Austin, Texas, there are tons of Lime scooters and bird scooters that are motorized and they go pretty fast and you're really, um, you know, they, you can obviously get hurt on them because they're motorized and they go fast. And my, there were two in the neighborhood and one of my son's friends texted him and said, hey, there are these two scooters in the neighborhood, you wanna go ride them? And he, uh, my husband said, yeah, sure you can, but you have to put on a helmet. And my husband was definitely trepidatious about it. He was definitely worried about it. So there may be times, you know, that you, you feel like this, this activity that your kid's about to do has potential danger, potential, potential risk, but it's not enough to say no. And there's enough of an upside that you're willing to say yes. So in this case, you know, could you get hurt on a scooter? Sure you could. You can also get hurt riding in a car every single day, which we do several times a day. So he went out, had a great time, had his helmet on as far as we know, and came home with a knee that was like four times the size of his regular knee, blood gushing. I mean, it looked like we needed to rush this kid to the emergency room. We didn't. Once we put it under a faucet and rinsed it out, yes, it was pretty bad. You know, it was a busted up knee for sure. He did not need to go see anyone. And I got to tell you, the amount of exhilaration and joy he had from that experience, that freedom, that independence to be kind of managing and driving sort of something motorized, that was a big moment of independence for him. And it was a new skill for him to learn. Granted, he, <laughs> he didn't really master that skill, but maybe next time. So, you know, my husband, unfortunately, is kicking himself, feeling like I should have never let him do that, feeling a sense of protection and maybe a little bit overprotected. Nothing bad happened. Yeah, scrapes, bruises, cuts, they heal. And uh, I think it was a bigger, more important lesson of living life and kind of, you know, not letting your fear get the best of you. So hopefully this gives you some food for thought when it comes to how, if you do overprotect your daughters in any way and how you might let go and loosen the reins a little bit and allow her more, um, empower her 
more in her life. If you want more uh, tips and tools and ideas and free advice, please be sure to sign up for my newsletter on my website, barbsteinberg.com, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Barb Steinberg LMSW. Have a great day.